Today I will show you how to install Red Hot Enterprise Linux 9.3 along with Windows 11. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our next videos. Right click on the Start menu and Start Disk Manager. We will make an additional partition on which we will install Red Hat Enterprise. Right click on Partition C and then select Shrink Volume. Enter in megabytes the space you want to allocate and press shrink. Right click on the empty space and select a new simple volume. Enter a name for the partition and then continue with the next. Confirm and finish. The partition is created. Close Disk Manager. You can find the new partition in File Explorer. Now you are ready to install Red Hat Enterprise. Restart the computer. After rebooting, enter BIOS. Check in your computer's manufacturer's documentation to see which button is responsible for starting the BIOS. I do not recommend activating default settings because it is possible that after restarting the computer, the Windows Boot Manager is missing. Search for Secure Boot. You must turn off Secure Boot. Now set your USB drive as the first to boot from the computer. Save the BIOS settings. After the reboot, it will boot your USB flash drive. I am using a Vento Multiboot USB drive. If you don't know how to make a bootable USB boot drive, you can watch my how-to video. Select Red Hat Enterprise in the menu and press Enter. Then run Boot in Grub2 mode. After that, press Enter. The installer of Red Hat is coming. Welcome to the installer. Here you will find many languages in which you can install Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Choose one of them and continue. In red, what we need to do to start the installation of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. First, we have to say where the Red Hat will be installed. Mark the disk on which you want to install Red Hat. Then confirm with done and click on reclaim space. Now find the partition we made, mark it, and then and delete it. Make sure it's still marked and click reclaim space. Now we need to enter the root password. Enter your password. If your password is too short, you will need to confirm twice. After you have set the root password, go to create a user account. Enter your details and confirm. If your password is too short again, you will have to confirm it twice. 
everything is ready and we can start the installation. Some interesting details about Red Hat Enterprises, which I learned from RedT.com. Red Hat is a leading provider of open source software solutions for enterprise customers, such as Linux, middleware, cloud, and container technologies. Red Hat was founded in 1993 by Bob Young and Mark Ewing, who named the company after Ewing's Red Cornell University lacrosse hat that he wore at a tech conference. It became the first open source company to surpass $1 billion in annual revenue in 2012 and was acquired by IBM for $34 billion in 2019, the largest software acquisition in history. Red Hat contributes to more than 450 open source projects, such as Kubernetes, Fedora, Ansible, and OpenShift, and has more than 14,000 employees in over 40 countries. Hosts an annual event called Red Hat Summit, where it showcases its products, technologies, and innovations and invites customers, partners, and community members to share their stories and experiences. Great! Installation is done. Now you need to restart your computer. After restarting, you'll now see a grub menu allowing you to choose between Red Hat and Windows. Select your desired operating system for boot. Red Hat is loading for the first time. In the login window, enter the user password you created during installation. You can take the GNOME 40 environment tour. Now you can discover and enjoy this extremely stable operating system that will never let you down. Every part of GNOME has been designed to make it simple and easy to use. The Activities Overview is a simple way to access all your basic tasks. A press of a button is all it takes to view your open windows, launch applications, or check if you have new messages. Having everything in one convenient place means you don't have to learn your way around a maze of different technologies. GNOME provides a focused working environment that helps you get things done. It is packed with features that will make you more productive, a powerful search feature that helps you access all your work from one place, side-by-side -side windows that make it easy to view several documents at the same time, seamless integration with online accounts that allows you to access all your data in one place, and a messaging system that comfortably deals with notifications, letting you quickly respond in place or return to them at a convenient time. Now you have the power of Red Hat Enterprise Linux and Windows at your fingertips. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop any questions or share your experiences in the comments below. Happy dual booting and until next time, thank you for joining us on this dual booting adventure.